Breaking down the Oklahoma portion of the NFL draft here with Jason Ray from Last Word on College Football. We encourage you to head on over to Last Word on College Football. Check out Jason's work and, of course, our friends, uh, Tony Saracusa, Kevin McGuffey as well. All right. Uh, another Trey drafted uh, out of the secondary there at Oklahoma, the final uh, selection for the Sooners and one of the final selections of the entire draft near the end of the seventh round by the Pittsburgh Steelers and Trey Norwood. You know, Mark Norwood's a kid that, you know, when he initially announced that he was leaving, there was a lot of, you know, a lot of head scratching, you know, why, you know, he was just kind of coming into his own this year, had been, you don't know, had struggled with some, with some injuries in the past. And, but, you know, arg- arguably had one of the best, you know, last four or five games uh, for Oklahoma, led the team. I think he was tied for the team lead in interceptions, you know, had some good, had some good play late in the game, had a, had an interception return for a touchdown against Kyle Trask in the Cotton Bowl. So a guy that had really thrived in Grinch's, in Grinch's defense, um, probably about, I thought he, I thought he would kind of sign a deal from an undrafted free agent perspective, but, you know, getting in the, and to your point, Mark, one of the last picks in the, in the seventh round with Pittsburgh is, 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 is a great opportunity for, for Trey Norwood. I think he's a, he's a kid that um, is very talented. You know, he's a little bit taller than, than the other Trey, Trey Brown at the, at the cornerback played nickel primarily for, for Oklahoma this year. So probably w- would have to put on a little bit of weight to be a safety in the NFL or, you know, certainly has the size to be a cornerback. Not sure about his speed um, just to be able to play that position, but certainly, you know, would have an opportunity to play in the secondary and in any system that he, that he sees fit. Jason Ray, last word on college football. And Jason's one of the major reasons why we've been successful in launching an Oklahoma uh, channel here at the voice of college football. So Jason, um, you know, I'm indebted to you. Thank you so much for being here every week to talk Oklahoma football with us and uh, allow us to, to get that, up and running oh absolutely mark thanks for thanks for having me on i enjoy it and happy to be a part of it